Hey guys, happy Easter and welcome back to my channel. I didn't know what to film for this Easter Sunday video and I was really thinking about it and I was like, maybe I won't film anything because I haven't really felt God's prompting and the day I'm filming is Good Friday today and I've just come off of a Zoom service with my church and I was just really inspired to share a particular message with you guys. Last week um, we watched a Palm Sunday video um, for our church service because we didn't have one of our own and in that service the minister there was talking a lot about you know if you haven't made a commitment to Christ then make a commitment but one of the things he really focused on was if you used to um, love Christ or you used to know God but you've like walked away from that life maybe you've had some things happen in life and it's really put a block between you and God maybe you used to love God but some things have happened and you blamed him for some stuff but now after all these years maybe you've even said I don't want anything to do with that life but now you've come back and you want to know God um, he was talking about like just go back don't worry about the fact that you've maybe told loads of people that you would never be a Christian again because if you love God and you want to get back into relationship with him just do it and then this week um on Good Friday, the service that we just came off of, the minister was talking about just like the fact that God loves us, like we were sinners, we are sinners, we're sinners by nature and we're always going to be wanting to do the wrong things. Inside of us we always want to do the things that are selfish, we always want to do the things that please us, we always want things that are really worldly and are not good for us and yet Jesus still died for us knowing that we were sinful, knowing that generation after generation was going to mess up and was going to um, throw it in his face at times. He knew that that was going to happen and yet he did it anyway because he loved us and he wanted us as sinful natured beings to be able to be reconciled to God, to be able to say, Lord, I'm sorry, lead me in your way and be forgiven, to be totally set free from what this world um, requires of us and that we actually only answer to God. And that led me to wanting to tell you today that God loves you. God loves you no matter what. I think that's really hard for us to grasp sometimes. And the message I just have for you today is no matter where you are in your faith, every one of us has messed up at some point. And I know that that might be sitting with you today. That whatever has gone wrong is weighing on your mind. That Satan is putting it back into your memory and making you feel like you can't go to God. Making you feel like you've done too much wrong. But it is not true. I know that I have spent years of my life dwelling on the things that I have done wrong. Dwelling on the ways that I have not honoured God. And that is a waste of a life to sit there and worry about it when God sent his son to die on a cross for me on this day so that I would never have to worry about that again. And that is not to say that um, it's okay to sin, but that is to say that no matter what you have done, no matter how far you've walked away from God, if you want to know him again, if you want him to rule your life again, you just say the words and God will take you back into his family. I just want you to know that you're so loved and I also want you to know that there is no way that you need to earn this love. I know I've also spent years of my life looking at reading the Bible and going to church as something that you must do to please God or you have to do and you can't miss a day. But that's not, that's not how it is. God doesn't want me to go to church just because I think I should or because it makes me a good person or because it's going to please him. Because actually, whether I go to church or not, God loves me. He loves me more than I will ever be able to understand and he loves you more than you will ever be able to understand. So reading the word and praying and trying to live a life for him, don't punish yourself if it's not going the way that you want it to go. Just give your best that you can to God because you will never earn it. You don't need to do a certain amount of service, read a certain amount of passages a day for him to love you because he loves you anyway. He loves you anyway so much that he gave his son on this Good Friday and he rose again on this day of Easter so that you could be shown that great love, so that you can speak to God in prayer and he can answer you so that you can have eternal life. I just want you to know on this day that you are so greatly loved, no matter how many things have gone wrong, no matter if you think you're too far gone or you're too bad of a person or no matter what, no matter what negative things Satan is telling you, I want to tell you today that God loves you, that you are chosen and that you can be a part of his family and that Satan will never be able to take you. 
let's just pray now pray with me if you want to just be in God's family if you just want to celebrate that um, God just loves each and every one of us no matter where you are today whether you are celebrating today and you're already a part of this family or whether you want to come back and be a part of this family um, just pray with me now Dear Lord, we just pray to thank you. We thank you that you sent Jesus, that today he rose again, that Lord, it is such a joyous day, that you, Jesus changed everything, Lord, so that we can pray to you and you hear us, so that we can have eternal life. Lord, you love us so much that no matter what we have done wrong, no matter what has gone wrong in life, no matter how far we've been, no matter what we've said in the past or done, Lord, today we want to be a part of your family. And Lord, we ask for forgiveness, Lord, the forgiveness that Jesus poured out on the cross. And we ask, Lord, that you will let us into your family and that we want to live for you. Lord, I just pray that every single person today will know how loved they are, no matter what they've been told, no matter whether they have a family that tells them they love them. Lord, you love them. Lord, I just pray your blessing and your love upon each and every person. Lord, let us be a part of your family. Lord, thank you, thank you, thank you. Lord, now for anyone that is not a part of your family and that wants to be a part of your family, Lord, we just pray, Lord, that they will know that they will feel welcome, that they will just feel your spirit with them right now, Lord, and that they just commit their life to you. Lord, just wash away everything from the past. And Lord, those who are already in your family, we just pray that you will renew our strength, Lord, and that you will just keep us um, wrapped up in your arms. Lord, this is your day. This is a day to celebrate, Lord, and we are so thankful for it. In your mighty name, amen. Guys, I just pray that you have a blessed day. Please know that you are so, so, so loved. I hope that you guys have an incredible day. Be blessed, stay safe, and know that God loves you. Bye, everyone.